Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another episode of me and Paula's collab together. We are going to shop our stash for some eyeshadow shades and so far we have done a lot of them and we are so enjoying this series and so are you guys which is so amazing and on the way we have seen other people shop their stash for shadows like us which is amazing, I love that. One of you guys actually requested last month a kind of a shade we can shop our stash for if we wanted to. It is requested from, I don't have a name on here, but it FTC MUA. And she requested a champagne gold for June because it was her birthday month and one of her favorite shades was champagne gold. And so are ours. <laughs> At least mine. My one of my sh favorite shadows, uh, for a lit shade at least, it is a champagne. When I was trying to go shop my stash, I found a lot of rosy champagne shades. So m some of these might pull a little bit more rosy than gold, but I wanted to show them anyway because I really, really like these shades. Because it is a shopping my stash or our stash at least. We don't have to be exact on the shade. We need to remember why we don't need more shadows and this is a good way for us to realize that at least. So of course I will have Paula linked down below if you don't already follow her. I'm pretty sure you do. I talk a lot about her uh, on my channel and we do a lot of videos together. So um, yeah and I also have all the other episodes for this project lip linked down below if you want to watch those. So let's start out with some single eye shadows and then I have one cream shadow. The cream shadow I want to talk about is an W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream Shadow? Okay, and this is a very very pale, I say it's a golden champagne. It is called Gilded Gage, Cage, Cage. I will swatch it just as I do all the time. I need to use these. These are beginning to dry up on me. So here it is. Right there. I think this is a close one for the champagne gold. The next one is a cream to powder eyeshadow. I think it it seems like it is like a Colourpop Super Shock shadow but I have not tried one of those. This is from Neil Sua and it is again a powder to cream eyeshadow. And I think it is more champagne than it is copper because it is called soft copper, more nude. It is a satin finish. <laughs> okay, it seems so dark right there. I don't know why. But it's not as shiny as the first one. I don't know. You can see here, it is like a goldy covered color. I have no idea why it turns that color on my skin right now. We have an eyeshadow in my NYX Full Treadle. Color Riot Quad and it is that one right there that I want to show you guys. It is a little bit glittery. This formula is amazing. So this might be a little bit more rosy but it is a beautiful shade and it works like a dream on your eyelids. The first shadow I actually thought of was from a Too Faced Chocolate Bar but when I came to swatch it, it leaned a little bit more rosy but on your eyelids it's, it's champagne, so. And it is a little bit darker, right there. That is the undertone and that is the shine. So you can see there is a difference from the more gold, white base, and then this rosy. It wouldn't be a Shop My Stash without some W7 palettes. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the W7 Romance palette. Yeah, maybe this is more gold, but I want to talk about that shade right there. It is called Passion. I think it is a gold one. It has a gold undertone for sure and it is a little bit more dark but it works the same on the eyelid. We have the W7 Delicious palette and I am going to swatch both. <laughs> These two shades right there, the two shimmer shades. Most likely the only two shimmer shades in this palette. When you see them they are more rosy and pink, you know, but when you twirl them together, I think they can be a nice champagne gold shade. We have the W7 Violet Lights palette, 
and I am going to swatch that shade right there and it is called Oxygen okay <laughs> weird name fine sometimes I doubt myself if I am colorblind or something because these are not the same color <laughs> I think this is more goldy right champagne goldy and then we have the Enchanted palette from W7 and the hair it doesn't have a so-called champagne in this palette but this has a gold shift to it so oops there goes the brush so i think it can be a champagne when you put it on you know as a topper it is right there i think it works so so far even though it's not exact dupes for the champagne gold color i don't think i need any more <laughs> and i'm not done not done of course i'm not done we have the BH Cosmetics Gen XO palette. I, I really hate the packaging that does bend, but I'm going to swatch that shade right there in the middle. Doesn't have names, but her second palette did, and it has the same shades right yeah. So it is that one right there. It is a beautiful shadow. Really, really beautiful. We have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. We have a few to choose from but i'm going to swatch that shade right there called bath water because it is a champagne gold and this might be the closest for champagne gold that i have that does not lean rosy that one right there we have the bh cosmetic color festival palette i'm going to swatch disco which is this light one right here these are so soft and buttery oh my god this is definitely more intense of a shadow <laughs> yep can you see that that is intense but it is a uh, maybe not champagne but it's definitely lighter and has a gold sheen to it so it works that that way this is kind of a cream to powder as well more cream it is the w7 eye cushion starlight palette and it is this shade right there as you can see this is more yellow and this is more pink so of course i'm going to swatch that one and i put that here on the side right there two palettes we have the morphe 35k palette and there is a kind of champagne shade in here it is that one right there this is one is very cool tone so this is the warmer one maybe it is more rosy i don't know it is that one right there you can see it it's beautiful the last one i have is from my zodiac love science palette and it it is actually the highlighter but i also use that as an eyeshadow so i just went with it it is a warm toned highlighter so it is a champagne gold i thought it was going to be perfect so here we are it's beautiful so i have a few that is true to the champagne gold here it is it's very glittery and beautiful oh my god it's beautiful so these are all my champagne golds some of them are more successful than others but i really like my selection and to be honest on the eyes it really does the same thing um, and they somehow looks the same i can't always tell a rose gold and a champagne gold from each other not when you blend it in with a few shades, the matte shades, you know. So these kind of performs the same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. I'm really, really excited about this project, I should say. Like collab with Paula. We are going to do it, of course, until the end of the year. We don't know if we are going to continue it into 2020. I really want to, so hopefully Paula will too. I have no idea. There are so many colors we can shop our stash for. And if you have any requests, we will of course do them or at least take them into consideration. We wanted to do the champagne gold because it is a color we gravitate towards really easily in a palette when we want to buy a new one. So we thought 
a shopping mustache on this one would be perfect. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, give the like, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love for you to hang out on my channel. I do a lot of pale bingos and pretty pants. And if you have any other video ideas or requests or a palette you want to see a pale bingo on, please let me know down below in the comments. And until my next video, please take care and don't forget to check out Paula.